Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sam and welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to film today a flip through of my Hobonichi. I know it's been a very long time. Um, but anyway, before we get started, this is the cover that you would have seen. I can't remember if it was my last video or the one before, but um, I was using this up until about a month ago and I had to take my Hobonichi out because the plastic cover on cover, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it began to split down down the spine, um, which was a little bit disappointing, um, but you know, these things happen and it also started to split. You can see I've had to sticky tape it back together. So from about here to here, all split open, which is actually most of the the sleeve there that's where where it holds together um, and it also started doing it on this side as well but I didn't I didn't stick it together yet um, and in the end I realized that um, and then up the top too I realized that if I wanted to keep my Hobonichi in this after the year was finished for archiving purposes which I which I did that I was gonna have to make some changes and I really really liked this fabric cover that I made but it's not reinforced in any way so if I just took the plastic cover off um, it wasn't going to be sturdy enough to hold it and I was humming and hurrying about what to do and I decided to go with a traveler's notebook and while I was saving up my money my mum had this great idea to make one so currently my Hobonichi is in here <laughs> this is a big <laughs> it's, she's a bit big um, this is a slightly larger than A5 traveler's notebook made from one of my mum's old handbags. It is leather uh, and you can see here this really cool marking where the handle used to be attached um, and then obviously the back. So if I was to open this out, which I will in a minute, this was actually the entire side of a handbag that we just cut off. Um, and this was one of the zip pulls, which became the charm. And because it's leather, it's really sturdy. And as you can see, she's quite a chunky beast. So um, I needed something sturdy to carry her around him. And it's very thick. And it is about one and a half kilos for anybody who's interested in the weight. Um, and that's most of that is actually the book. So if I open it up before I get into the book, you can see um, that was the top edge of the handbag, and it was. If I shuffle it up, we've just rounded it and put some elastics in, um, and that's where the handles were. And and then yeah, that's that's how it looks. So um, I don't know if the camera is picking it up particularly well. I do have troubles with getting good light in here, unfortunately, but um, it's like a really nice sort of khaki, foresty green color. So, um, and excuse my lovely background mat. My cutting mat is under an absolute mountain of stuff, so I've just grabbed the uh, the notepad that I usually use on my on my desk. <laughs> so, all right, inside, um, it's got some pockets. It's got one big pocket here, which this has the folder that's just got my a selection of my stickers. They're mainly Fox and Cactus. Hi Emma, I love your work. Um, a couple of my own designs and some bits and pieces just randomly stuck in there. Um, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't use this much at the moment, um, only because I've changed the way that I'm sort of planning and doing things right at this second in time. But anyway, I do have four, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness, I can't count. Pockets going down sideways. It's got my Hobonichi stencil, some page flags, and a couple of half full washi cards. At the moment, my pockets are looking a little sad because I haven't been um, using this to its fullest at the, at the moment. But yeah, we'll talk about that, how we get into it. This I really want to cover or collage. I hadn't bothered beforehand because it was inside the slip cover, but now because it's on uh, elastics, um, and I do have a couple of spares in here, but it's on elastics so you can now see it. So this was originally what I saw when I opened my 
old cover. Um, this was the this is what I had set up as my sort of cover page. Um, I got sent this from a friend in a in a rack, and I stuck it in because I really liked it. So that's from the Planner Society. Um, now let's just start flipping. This is my six monthly view, and all I've done here is recorded birthdays and like start and end of term and things like that for school. I thought this would be awesome, and I'd really would use it all the time. And to be honest with you, I have can probably count on one hand the amount of times that I've used it. Um, but I do like having the ability to view all the birthdays in one place if I want to. <laughs> if I want to. Um, and then these are the monthly layouts. I, in January, I thought it would be really cool to set this up as kind of like a bullet journal style gratitude log where I just wrote my favorite memory for the day on the actual dates and then did a little doodle to go with it. Um, and I really enjoyed this but I forgot about it. <laughs> so I only did it for January and all the other months are just empty. So I haven't decided what I'll do yet, whether I'll fill these in with something later or whether I'll pull them out and use, repurpose them in, in another book or I don't, I don't know yet. So they are disappointingly empty. Um, now the weekly view, I honestly just, I do reference this, but not an awful lot. There's nothing particularly creative about it. I literally use the times as they are set out and just plan in my appointments and my, my days. I did try a couple of, as you can see there, like I tried to color block everything and I didn't like the way that it looked. Um, I use a color code system. So tasks in or things in pink are appointments or scheduled tasks for me. Uh, pale blue is for my son. Uh, purple is for my daughter. And then green are things that are either family events or for my husband specifically that may or may not affect us. So these, this is literally just weeks of me just writing down, um, yeah, very boring life stuff. And I'll be honest, like I said, I don't really look at this very much. I like to have it there just in case. I did make a few notes there. If I was looking at purchasing a watercolor notebook from office works that's probably for mermaid yeah may um yeah I, I use this if i'm like going to the hairdresser or whatever and i want to see when my next appointment whether the dates are free i will use this and i do fill it out at the start of every week but because i don't reference it every day and you and i don't use it heavily i don't put a lot of love into these so and i mark my week that i'm up currently up to with this little watermelon clip here which don't ask me where this is from I think this was from Sweet Tashi on Etsy I think I think anyway so yeah I've got yep obviously to the end of the year up here then this is my cover page for 2017 um, which I drew myself obviously and that was my word for the year was is create um, so I, I built on that to put down my, the quote and I really love this, but one of the problems is that I never actually look at it. So I really need to take a photo of it or scan it or something like that so I can print it out, um, and stick it up on my wall cause it's really lovely. And yeah, um, this was done with a Tombow Fudeno suitcase soft brush pen and these are Prismacolor pencils. So on the monthly pages, I usually do goals, um, both achieved and to-dos, if that makes sense. This one just has goals because it was the start of January. And then you can see here I'm, I'm using stickers um, and then just like to-dos. And I was filling in space with quotes. Um, and I used a lot of stickers and I still do in here. And I can honestly say for people who are considering buying a Hobonichi and are worried about uh, stickers bulking things up, um, it really doesn't if you just use them, you know, like this. We, you know, I'm just using them for headings and for appointments, and this is just a really cheap, like, sticker paper from Officeworks that I was printing out photos of my kids um, and sticking them in. So there we are, Orion and I are having a milkshake. 
so yeah, I, I really just had, um, you know, this, this was from an Erin Condren kit, which was for the bottom bar, and you know, these are just labels, so this is, and washi tape, and I really just did whatever I wanted in here, and I really like the way that it looks, um, in terms of the combination of planning and doodling and photos and stickers, I was really happy with that, um, and you can sort of see as I'm flipping that I'm using the setup of the Hobonichi sort of as it's designed. So I was writing my appointments, time-related appointments and schedule in the actual um, appointment section where the, where the times are written down the side of the page and then all of my other notes kind of go around it. Uh, the section does go all the way down till 3 o'clock in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning, which <laughs> unless you're a shift worker, that will be irrelevant to you. My day sort of stops at about... 9, 10 o'clock at night, but um, yeah, that, that was sort of it, and I would add stickers here and there and add quotes and um, sticking in, you know, bits and pieces. Here we are is what I was talking about before, goal pays, so goals I achieved according to my January list, and then the goals that I set out for the month. Um, and it's nice to kind of, from month to month, look at one thing and then look it back again. I love this quote from Terry Pratchett, open your eyes and then open your eyes again. Um, this lettering will all have been done with the Tombow Fudeno Suke Soft, unless it's this pink is a Pentel Touch sign brush pen. Um, but yeah, it's all just it's all just stickers and notes um, and a little bit of journaling, but not journaling journaling. If you know what I mean, like um, you know, I've got like meal planning up here. Um, quotes that seemed to be relevant to me on 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 the day or at the time. Um, yeah, I don't know <laughs> how else to say. Business cards in here. Um, then you know notes pertaining. Obviously, Ryan was sick, so I had written down his temperature, his medicine. Here he had a doctor's appointment, and then I wrote the things that I wanted to discuss underneath. Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, I suppose. Uh, and this just continues along. I was playing some Ocarina of Time that day, so I wrote down the verse from the Sun Song. And yeah, I really loved, um, I really liked planning this way. There you go, I got some Fox and Cactus stickers. I have a horde of Fox and Cactus stickers and I could buy more. Um, that was a stamp that I coloured in. Um, but yeah, it's stickers and stickers and notes, um, to-do lists, another monthly layout with, with my goals, and I was trying to sort of schedule my days about what I was doing on what day. Um, early in the year, I, I sort of powered on through, and, and I was so, 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 so incredibly busy, and I just piled my plate fuller and fuller and fuller and fuller and fuller, and that's the reason why no, there was no new videos for me, basically no progressive flips or anything like that, because I really just pushed myself um, to a point where <laughs> I couldn't go on, basically. Um, so this is stamps. There's some more, some a lot more notes, and you can see here I'm starting to struggle under the strain. Um, this is March. Uh, my brother's wedding was on that day and I was I made the wedding cake and I also made some decorated biscuits um, for their for their ceremony so that's why this couple of days is pretty empty um, more notes and stickers um, as you can see here a little bit of I call this journaling because it actually has no purpose other than just memory keeping so but it's more snapshot journaling or capture journaling just little bits and pieces here and there. Um, and I have some days that are full that look good and then other days that are, that are empty. I watched a video where I thought these pens look cool and then I couldn't find them anywhere, so that was a bit of a shame. Um, and then I, I, I started to sort of struggle. Um, once again, my April goals, reinforcing my schedule, trying to keep myself on track. I decided that I wanted to practice my... Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, drawing skills. So I began to start sketching in here 
um, and this is some, some watercolour. Um, some of these are my own drawings and some of them are ones that I've, like this one for example, I saw on Pinterest and because I was trying to learn the sort of the lines and the way things are laid out, I just copied them out. Um, and because this was my own personal sketchbook and I wasn't really intending to sell it or <laughs> I wasn't even really thinking about showing it, I didn't um, write down the original artist. So that one is one I saw on Pinterest and I tried to imitate to, to try and understand the proportioning and the, and the lines and everything. And as you can see, he's certainly not perfect. His, <laughs> his little body is really short and he's giant feet. Um, this one was me. I was practicing how to draw hair. Um, and then these ones, you know, that, that one was me. I think that one's off Pinterest. I can't even remember anymore. That one was me. I decided to draw, for some reason, a hedgehog with bat wings. Here I've got some notes about different watercolour sets. I, I, have, I own a really cheap watercolour set, um, really cheap, like, chalky, yucky set, and I wanted to buy something a little bit more quality. And you can tell it's sort of cheap and chalky because it rubs off on the other side of the page, which you'll see a little bit here particularly. So the yellow from Pikachu is rubbed off on this side, and the blue from this dragon he has, it has rubbed off on this side, but it's hard to see because I've already got some watercolour there. Um, so this one was um, inspired by a digital artwork on Pinterest, and I tried to redraw it as traditional. And then that's Pikachu in a Charizard suit <laughs> there. Um, this one I drew based on a drawing of, I think she was a vampire, and I turned her into a sorceress. So I was trying to start experimenting with... Um, going from a, a pose, a shape of a person, and then changing it to suit myself. Um, but once again, you can see that Bulbasaur's kind of rubbed off and she's kind of rubbed off on him. Um, and this was done with the uh, Pentel Pocket Brush Pen, which I'm still learning how to use. It's very tricky. Um, and then that, that fox there, you can see that, and that's that's the problem with cheap watercolours because they're chalky, they kind of, kind of rub off. Um, and here is the dragon, that's a My Little Pony, um, that's a unicorn in a teacup, which if you think about that, it must be a magic teacup or it's only half a unicorn because that's a big top and a tiny bottom, but it doesn't matter. Um, this one, I drew this one myself, um, but as you can see, she's way out of proportion, it's just like, err. Um, but that's okay. That's a Leafeon with a Rowlet. Um, and once again, the watercolours all rubbing off everywhere. Um, so there's that. And then I started to, like I said, I was sort of struggling with the workload I'd laid on myself. I, I over-busied myself. Um, and in, and I, then I took on Mermaid as well. Uh, <laughs> um, and I pretty much just eventually came apart at the seams and, and crumbled. But... That it's hard to tell from here. You you can kind of see where I, I've dropped off in the detail of my planning. There's more notes. Um, Piper was sick here, so she she had temperature, as you can see. And I know that it's Piper because it's written in purple, so that's relevant to her. Um, and yeah, you can see here I've started to struggle. This was Mother's Day. Um, I got Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild for my Mother's Day present, and I was very excited. Um, I have written here Catch Up on Mermaid. I never finished it because I, I really sort of came apart at the seams, um, which I already said, and I had to take some personal time off and just... I kept trying to soldier on because, unfortunately, I'm a really stubborn person, but you know what? We don't talk about mental health very much these days, and when we do, we talk about it like it's some sort of terrifying, mountainous, horrible thing. Um... When in reality, we're all just human um, and it happens to the best of us. And I, I do have anxiety. I think I've said that before, but I over, I just worked myself into the ground um, doing things that I thought were the best because other people would want me to do them, but they weren't the things that I needed to be doing. And you can see here, um, it's all just blank. It's all just there. And then with the odd day thrown in where I where I sort of, I, will, I won't say got it together, but usually I was forcing myself. Um, and then I, this was, but baby, careful. You can, sorry, Piper's just pulled herself up to the other side of my little table and she's shaking it. Um, 
Then I bought this lovely purple, this is another Pentel touch sign. Same as what the pink one is. This is when we went away for my husband's birthday. He likes to play golf. So we basically, we went to a 13th Beach Resort um, and we went across the Sea Road Ferry um, for the kids. And that's the sort of things that we did. So you can see here that my planning, I've tried to keep creative because it is nice to have a creative outlet. And this was basically my only creative outlet at the time. Um, but I also was really sort of, like I said, struggling. And then it became this. <laughs> Very much my appointments and just my scribbled down to-do lists. Sometimes just empty and completely blank. Um, yep, just really, and I was trying to push myself to fix. You can see me here, I doodled a cat, just start. Because once you get a few blank pages, I felt like I was gonna have to go back and catch up and I was ruining it and all these sorts of things. Um, and Courtney Diaz from Little Raven Inc. I'm a patron of hers, but I, I really love her, um, her really quirky attitude and some of the things she says. And so I wrote that down because she said, art supplies come before chairs, which I thought was really I saw lovely. The kitty. <laughs> yes, baby, you saw the kitty. Um, so then I started trying to push myself to be a little bit creative um, and then obviously failed and then this is where I started to try and change things up a bit. Um, so I started to add creative sort of collage almost art journal elements. So I have this sort of flippy thing with notes on the back. Um, this is some of Courtney's collage sheets that I've stuck in and a felt sort of sticker. Um, and I really, really loved this. This is one of my, I did this one. So I drew the flower and then I added the person underneath. Um, and then I went out, this is my, my Nana and my mum and I, we went out for a, for a lady lunch. Um, and then here, this was Orion's birthday. Baby, you can't pull the table, sweetie. Um, this was Orion's birthday. He turned seven and this was the information about his party. Um, more sort of checklisty things, some watercolors. Um, I have some better quality watercolors, so they are not rubbing off, which is good. I sort of drew on my selfie photo. Um, here, that's another one of Courtney's collage sheets. So the receipts for some pens that I bought, um, and then you know some photos and on a journal card. And I'm actually journal journaling here. I'm trying to write down things that happened during the day that, that I liked. Uh, this is when mum and I made some pen rolls, we, so we did a little bit of pattern, that's half a doily, some more collage sheets. Um, here's a tag with Piper's face on it, and I journaled on the back. And this was Piper's fourth birthday, so she turned four. Um, and this was the birthday card that I gave her, which I made the card and then I loved it so much that I didn't wanna throw it out, so I stuck it in. Um, and then this was her voucher that this is part of her present. We took her to build a bear so she could make her own sort of teddy bear. And then I did a bit of journaling on the back of that. Um, and then more's my to-do list and more journaling, watercolor. Um, and then here I did this kind of cool third eye sort of person, journaled on the back to-do list. I was swatching out my new watercolors here. Um, they're Winsor and Newton ones for anyone who's interested. Um, August, there's, I made a little pocket with some journaling underneath, that's some notes for my Ryan's psychologist appointment, and then a journal card with my to-do list on the back, um, and then the, so that's some of Courtney's collage sheets. Here I bought something from Carlisle Art, I don't remember what it was, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I just whacked the camera. Um, this was an appointment for my diabetic uh, clinic which I, that gives me a lot of anxiety going to visit these people, as you can see from Fox and Cactus Stick down there, Grumpy Cat. So I made it into an art on the back, something that sort of made me feel good. And mum came with me to the appointment, um, which I really appreciated. Um, and then here, more journaling. This is another journal card with one of Courtney's collage elements on it, and you can't really see that, but yeah, some journaling on the back of that card. Um, and then more, I liked this girl, she was cool, that's one of Courtney's. Um, another pocket with one of Courtney's colour sheets, and then this one's got uh, my to-do list on it, and then this one just has a little bit of journaling um, here. 
And then here again, another another person. I gave them a crown, um, some more journaling in here. Um, that's one of Courtney's as well. Most of these stuck in elements are going to be Courtney's collage stuff. So just to save me saying Courtney a million times. Um, in here, I did some photos of the kids from when uh, we went out and about and then some journaling underneath. Um, and this card was actually the side of a box of tea and I just really liked the design so I stuck the date over the top. Um, more journaling to-do list. Um, some sort of, that's Prismacolor pencils colouring that in. More journaling here. That's my Nana. Um, more journaling, more watercolour. Here we go. That's a flip out, uh, like a little flip out sort of Polaroid card with a photo and journaling on the back. This was um, a thank you card from my brother, hello, and his new wife, Elise, from their wedding. And there's a photo of us all inside, and that's that's what she wrote. And then I just stuck, that's me and Piper at the wedding on the back, and then one of Courtney's things there. Journal card, journaling, to-do lists. Um, and I really enjoyed this style of planning, but it did make my hobo really chunky. So, so this section alone is most of, I say this section, the rest from here on in, is most of the heft that's in here, the, the fatness. Um, so, but I did really enjoy taking the time to write down, when I say I journaled, I didn't write down the entire day, I just wrote my favorite thing about the day. Um, this is a birthday card I got from my uncle and I love it. I often have long conversations all by myself and I'm so clever that sometimes I don't understand a single word I am saying, um, which this really appealed to me. I love this so much that I stuck it in. Um, so that's from my uncle. Um, and then here, more journaling on the back. Drawing of Pikachu. I got, uh, for my birthday, the Derwent Ink Tense Pencils and that's what's done that and I love them so much. They are by far and away my favorite medium um, at the moment. They're everything I wanted out of my watercolors and more. And they're a pencil, so they I, I feel really comfortable using them. Um, sorry, everyone, Piper's shaking the table. Either sit down, sweetie, and sit still, darling, or you're going to have to move away because you're jiggling it. This is my birthday card from my husband and my kids, and I journaled on the back. This is my actual birthday um, Courtney did these lovely calendars and so I printed it out and circled the day in question. Journaling on the back and then here I just, I got a HP sprocket printer for my birthday. Um, so I was doing photos like mad, more journaling, my actual, um, thing for the day. And then in here some, the first smart sheet out of my, out of my HP sprocket, uh, my friend gave me, uh, my friend Bronwyn gave me some beautiful tea that she bought from here. So I just stuck the label off the bag. And this is my birthday card from my dad. So they were just some mementos from my birthday that I stuck in there. Um, so that's mm, mm, that. And then over here, there is some journaling there. It's pretty pale, you might not see it. This is a card I got from my mum, which I had to stick in because I don't know how well you can see that, but it's a pop-up Pikachu and a Pokeball, and I love it. Um, and then here's some more bits and pieces with journaling underneath. Um, I got a Fox and Cactus, my Halloween order, and my cute little note from Emma and Tom. Um, thanks, I love you guys. More journaling. This was done with my jelly plate. Photo of me and mum on the back. This was also done with my jelly plate. It's on tissue paper, I think. I think. And then I just journaled underneath. That's my old driver's license. Uh, Orion made me this card. <laughs> Mummy, I love you so, so, so much, which I thought was cute. And that is apparently a very accurate drawing of me. And there he is on the back. Um, more notes here. That's a stamp. You can see I fell off the bandwagon of the goals, not because I don't want to do them, but I was just really trying to rediscover me and sort out who I was and what I wanted out of my life and my journal. This is Father's Day. This is the, the card slash notes that I wrote for Marshy. These are the cards the kid made with one of those my daddy sort of questionnaires stuck in. So that was the one Orion did. This is Piper's. 
Um, and she did it. They both did good jobs there. Um, more photos and stickers, a journaling, and so on and so forth. Uh, this is Marco. Um, my kids were watching the, the Avatar, the, the not the Last Airbender, The Legend of Korra. So that's Marco. They asked me to draw him, so I did. That is a pink elephant. I'm not sure why he's pink, but he is. Once again, they're my ink tense pencils, and like no rub off, no chalky residue. They just feel beautiful. I really love them. Um, that's a deer, clearly. Well, I hope it clearly is a deer. Um, and then here I sort of took a little bit of a, a sloth again because I realised that if I kept going in the way that I was going, you know, here's the first part of the year where it was just stickers and writing and you can see there's not a lot of bulk there. And then once I started getting really creative and loving it, I started getting a really fat um, Hobonichi. And I don't have a problem with that. I like them chunky. But I realized that it was only September, like early September, late August. And that if I kept going the way that I was going, I might not have been able to write in it by the end of the year. So I sort of not fell off the bandwagon, but I got a little upset. And I kind of, um, oh, that's Piper from like forever ago. I love that photo so much. Um, and I just sort of wasn't sure what to do. And I sort of was a bit listless and um, trying to think about what I wanted to do for next year. And... I sort of really just sat and then I kind of thought, well, no, here's a birthday party invitation for Orion. Um, if, you know, I should be able to do a bit of both. Surely I should be able to, this was the whole idea of this book was that I could put everything in it. Um, so I got some brush pens. Um, so we went to, we took the kids to Pancake Parlor and um, to see the Lego Ninjago movie on the school holidays. Um, and I ordered a couple of Traveller's Notebooks and they both arrived within two days of each other, which is good. You'll see those in another video later. Um, so I started practicing my brush lettering again with my Tombow brush pens and just making pretty to-do lists, a um, couple of stickers, just writing basically. I, I hadn't been journaling in here lately because the more I journal, the more I want to stick stuff in. Um, so I'm just writing... Here's my pencil board, so, and this is today, this is the bookmark that I made. So it's a really old strip photo from when Orion was at kinder a couple of years ago that I s made a head and some arms and legs for and, and that's the back. A couple more recent photos on that. Um, and yeah, and that brings us that brings us to where we are. Uh, this is my actual bookmark. Because of the chunk, I need to use a paper clip to actually hold my pencil board in place. But I need the pencil board because of the chunk to stop. Um, otherwise, I can't write on it because it's so so big, and that's fine. Um, my my thing going here forward from here is that I really want to do December daily, and I want to do it in here as possible until then, um, so that I can get as chunky as I want at the end of the year and not worry about it. Um, at the back here, this has got four elastics, so I have got one spare, and here's a pocket folder that I made so this is a pocket in here which I can never get into I mean I can but because of the angle of the curved nature there it is beep, beep, beep. and then inside I've got um, one pocket here and then one pocket there I've got a little notebook just for like collections like Christmas present planning and stuff like that in it there's not much written in um, that's my swatches for my ink tents pencils and so there's another pocket there and there. And then on the back, there's also another pocket there. And then I've got two here. There's just some pieces of sketch paper in there. And that is that is that is it. So going into next year, I'm not going to be using a Hobonichi. Um, I really loved this planner this year. But the thing that I need to try and do from here on is work out a way that I can plan slash journal slash memory keep um, without being so ridiculously massive that it becomes unusable. Um, and so what I'm actually doing is I'm making my own, I say my own planner, probably more bullet journal style or if you were to plan in your journal or journal in your planner, or I don't know how you want to call it, um, that's what I'll be doing going forward. And I will be doing flip-throughs of 
the books both before I actually plan in them or journal in them or whatever you want to call it and afterwards so you'll get to see how I prep everything and then how it evolves once I actually use it so that will be coming up in other videos but yeah for now that is my little story that is my little <laughs> big hobo to date with all its chunky pages um and yeah thanks for watching and uh hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are in your part of the world and i'll see you next time bye bye